Hello, I am Donna of DonnasCrochetDesigns.com. Today I'll be showing you how to make Solomon's Knot. Here's the example we'll be working on. You can find complete instructions as well as a photo step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make it on my website under Tutorials. And you'll also get a pattern, a free pattern, from DonnasCrochetDesigns.com free patterns on how to make this kippa, which also uses the Solomon's Knot. Now you begin with yarn and a hook and I'm starting with a base of single crochet. I single crochet in the first one. Now I start to make my first knot. I pull up a loop that's about two stitches long because I'll be skipping two stitches in my pattern. And I yo pull through making sure I keep the loop separate. Then I go in between the loops, yo again. Now I've got two loops on my hook, like I'm making a single crochet, then I finish it. Then I finish the single crochet, skip two stitches, single crochet the next, pull up a loop, yo, insert between the loops, pull up from a single crochet, finish it, skip two stitches, single crochet. Now I'll repeat that all the way across until I have something that looks like this. Now we're on to row three. This is where you make a double Solomon's Knot. It's where you make two of the singles. It's really simple. You make your first one, you make your second one, Now this time, you're going to skip a single crochet. This is the one that started the row, this is the next one, and you go in between it, which is the single crochet between knots, and you've got start like this. You've got three knots, kind of like a triangle. Now you make another double knot, this one. Two, skip the single crochet, insert in the center of single crochet, finish the stitch with single crochet. So you're starting to make the pattern. Now, next, you're going to want to build on the pattern. So you start again with a double knot. And this time, you want to single crochet in the free single crochet from the last row, the one you skipped. Make another double knot. Skip a crochet, insert into the single crochet that's free on the knot. Single crochet again. Now it's starting to look more like the pattern you're used to, which is this. It's very easy to do once you just learn the terminology. That's why I call it one knot and two knot, because the terminology really freaked me out at first. But it's very simple, and you get a pattern for this at freepatterns.com, which utilizes the Solomon's knot. Thank you.